Hey everybody, it's Tiana, owner and creator of WindingWickCandles.com and today we're going to be making a holiday mega candle. So I hope you guys are having a really nice Christmas so far. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Happy holidays and all of that jazz. But today is my gift to you. We're going to be doing the Christmas mega candle. Really excited about this because I'm going to be showing you guys some new techniques that I haven't shown you guys before. Hope you are enjoying the little Dollar Tree ears, by the way. Here we have the highlighted fragrance of the day, which is the gingerbread candle. And this fragrance is going to be one of two of the fragrances that are going to be in this candle. So this mega candle, I'm just doing two scents. So gingerbread and then candy cane. And I'm really focusing on the new techniques that I'll be showing you guys later on in the video. So without further ado, let's get started with the first layer, which is candy cane. So something I never told you guys before is the Mega Candle is actually inspired by Yolanda from How to Cake It when she makes her Mega Cakes. That's how I got really inspired to try it with candles. So that's where the Mega Candle was born. And so um, I started making layers of wax, kind of like cake layers. And to do this is a new technique that I tried um, this time around. I just put the wax inside of a container and then I put that into the freezer. So the reason I put it into the freezer is kind of so that it will pull away from the container and shrink and then I can unmold it really easily and then cut it in half to make little layers. So again, I was inspired by how to cake it. I noticed that she uses this edible paint a lot and it kind of gave me the idea of using it in candles. So I found this edible paint and the first ingredient was water. It had very few ingredients, so I didn't see why I couldn't use this on a candle. I tested it with a tea light. I pretty much just painted the top of the tea light and lit it and everything seemed to turn out okay. The only thing I noticed is if you actually get the paint on the wick, then it will extinguish the wick probably because the first ingredient is water, but it worked. So I went ahead and used this technique to decorate some of my candles. Now disclaimer, I wouldn't do this for candles that I'm going to be selling to customers. I just haven't done enough research on that to see if it's okay to burn. So I'm just doing this for the mega candle. Now, it was a really good idea to try to paint these little balls and make them ornaments, but I didn't do a very good job at actually painting them. So what I did is I switched it up last minute and I just used the edible paint to kind of paint them more of a solid color and it turned out a lot better than actually painting designs on the ornaments.
got the ice cream done and all of the embeds done it's time to actually do my favorite part which is decorate the top of the candle I hope you guys enjoyed the mega candle video I think it turned out really good and I'm actually getting really quick at making these mega candles I made this in record time which was amazing and in the video that you just saw like the little b-roll I didn't light all of the wicks in that because I didn't want to ruin the design for pictures and things like that if you're interested in any candle unicorn merch link is down below thank you guys for tuning in and I can't wait until we see another mega candle in the future but until next time bye guys